Well, I um, can uh, tell you as to what was going on in my own mind and what was the background to the creation of the CII ITC Center for Sustainable uh, Development. Uh, the history goes back a little further back. Uh, there was a gentleman called Shiv Kumar who works for ITC in the agribusiness division. So when I joined ITC, he came with his uh, resignation and he said that I'm leaving because I'm a trader and ITC would not in future, according to me, do any international trading among third countries. So he said that a trader has no value in his job if uh, he cannot be global in terms of uh, looking at various arbitrage that are present uh, in commodity trading. And so I would like to leave. I told him that, look, you, you stay on here and see what you can do to the Indian agriculture and um, uh, see whether we can use digital technology uh, to uh, get our expertise in trading of Indian agri-produce. So he went back and he came back after a while to me and said, okay, I want to experiment. I'll experiment. I have some ideas, but I need one crore. One crore is uh, today a very small sum of money, but when he asked me this, so I told him, look, you take 10, but give it a full-blooded try. And then was born what is now in Harvard a case study on eChopal. It's the world's largest uh, digital network servicing the farmers. And we found that with engagement with ITC, we could do a lot to upgrade the, uh, the life of the farmer, uh, impart knowledge to him, and generally improve his productivity and income. This was one experiment. The other experiment was when we started giving saplings to farmers to uh, create social forestry. These two experiments with the weakest in our society uh, gave me the view that we can change our society providing we harness the creative energies of business. And, and since business has touch points with society, we engage uh, business into creating value. Uh, along the entire value chain rather than being confined to whatever they do. So as a result of this, we thought that we would create what may be termed as the CIITC Center for Sustainable Development. And uh, we were also experimenting with, you know, reducing carbon emission and so on and so forth. That was the first year where we became water positive. And, uh, and therefore, that gave us a springboard to and then I came into contact with people like Mr. Suresh Prabhu. Mr. Prabhu, I would like to say, you know, if there is a pure definition of integrity, right, and there is a definition of openness, and there is definition of uh, commitment, and there is definition of dedication, then, and creativity and ideas, Mr. Prabhu would always be there. And we owe a lot to Mr. Prabhu because he was on the awards committee. And awards are as good as the people who uh, are judges of that award. So, so long as Mr. Prabhu was the chairman, nobody ever questioned the integrity of the outcome. So Mr. Prabhu, I take this opportunity today to say thank you very much because that this award has today now got a lot of prestige and a lot of it is owed uh, to you. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, many more people have got engaged with uh, the CII ITC Center and the least of whom has been me because I am now, uh, in, the, in the beginning I used to be like a center half, you know, doing many things, but now I am like a referee. And now a referee who even forgets to whistle. 
So, uh, so that is the stage and now Seema and her team are the ones who are carrying it forward and many of you who engage with CIIT Center and the knowledge that is pooled from those who come together with it is the one that is carrying it forward. So it is the synergy of all those who are coming in contact with the center and multiplying this knowledge and then spreading it to create a force multiplier so that our society can be a more sustainable society. We can provide succor to many more people. Uh, we can provide jobs to many more people and we can have an environment that is worth breathing, worth living. We can, uh, we can uh, uh, have, uh, we can bequeath a society to the future generation that is superior to what we inherited from our ancestors. So these are a few words that I have to say, but we will wait for Mr. Prabhu because he will give you really a perspective both from the inside and from the outside. Yeah, Mr. Prabhu.